Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a relaxing type video. Obviously you're watching me get ready with my hair and makeup. I'm gonna link all the products below, including this transportable, portable hair dryer that I've had for several years. But I'm gonna link a dupe for you in case you do want to purchase this. So I primed my lips first and now I'm just setting my face, really just taking off the oils that are on my face. It's not long lasting, but I just decided to do that using the Fenty Beauty Skin Tint. And as you can see, this is giving light to medium coverage. I can still see some of the blemishes on my chin, but I do love the way that this makes the skin look and feel. It is so beautiful. I'm not a huge fan of skin tints, but I do like this one a lot. And you know, I do put a powder on my face afterward and you'll see how it all comes together. It does look really, really good. Now, when you're applying your foundation, make sure you're applying a light amount to the outer parts of your face. Start applying it on the middle of your face in order to build it out to the outer part of your face. Now, when it comes to my concealer, I like to blend the outer part of my concealer first, letting the concealer closest to my nose dry a little bit before blending it. Shout out to Jackie Ina for teaching the girls this trick. I love it. I like for the concealer nearest to my nose to really be pronounced, and that's why I blend it last. I don't want it to be too sheer, but I do want the concealer closest to my hairline to be sheer, and that's why I blend that out first. I like to blend my chin out first because I want the concealer on my forehead and my nose to be most pronounced. Again, in line with the idea of letting it dry a little bit before I actually blend it out. Now blending under the cheek for me is an advanced type of tactic. If you're a beginner at makeup, skip that just so you don't mess up your face. But if you've been doing this for a while, give it a shot. I love to do that. And now I contour my face. This you do want to make sure you get into your hairline. Forgive the light changes. The sun was rising and setting and doing all kinds of strange things that day. Now I'm using the Sephora Translucent Setting Powder to set my highlighted areas. This is the same powder that I used in the beginning to set my face to take away the shine. Now I'm going to put the powder on my face like I always do and in this video I'm using the one size foundation. It's a powder foundation actually and of course we're going to bronze. We're not contouring today. Bronzer gives the face warmth. Contour gives the face a shadow. So you see that here. You also want to make sure you get this into your hairline. Very, very important. And again I'll link these wrap strips in the dryer below. Now you know my eyebrows are unique. And I cut the tail off on purpose because that's my prerogative and I love doing that. I've been doing this for many, many years now. So I'm gonna show you how I fill my brows in. I love to clean up under my brows using this NARS Soft Matte Concealer in the color Amand. And I just like to apply it toward the latter three quarters of my brow, not toward the front. I don't want the front of my brow to look too pronounced. That look to me is outdated and just hideous. I like to really pronounce the outer parts of my brow. And then I'm gonna blend it 
Sometimes I blend with a brush, sometimes I blend with my finger. It just depends on how I'm feeling. And I believe in this video, I blended it out with my finger. But with the finger, you wanna avoid the fingerprints. So it's a, it's a great idea to let this dry a little bit and then blend it out. But see how I'm focusing on the harsh lines? So there's no need to blend on top of the concealer itself because it's already where you want it to be. I'm really blending out the harsh lines. And I'm pressing very lightly as well because again, I wanna avoid any fingerprints which you will see very easily setting this with the same loose setting powder from sephora because it just works really well and i'm showing you today one of my easy go-to everyday looks by using a powder foundation in my crease i love this powder foundation because it has an olive tone to it that looks so good in the crease it's not translating as well as i would love for it to on video but believe you and me it is so beautiful in person. I just love it. It's really great for the whole face, for my skin tone at least, and of course in my crease. I've also used it on my whole eyelid too. It's, it's so nice. So now the Charlotte Tilbury Bronzer, I'm using as an eyeshadow, quick and easy way to get a nice, soft, warm, brown tone look on the eye. If you're in a rush or you wanna just keep it simple and, and be able to use products in multiple different ways. I like to bring my eyeshadow or a here bronzer down to the area under underneath my brow because it just ties the whole look together. And for mascara, as you can see, I like to run the mascara under the lashes and on top to really make sure that it gets an even coat of mascara. I do not do mascara after lashes, always beforehand. These lashes are linked below and I'm taking a shimmer eyeshadow color to put on the inner part of my eye. Any shimmer eyeshadow will work. You don't need this specific palette just to do that. You can even take a highlighter and put it in the inner eye. Now, if you know me, you know that I love liquid highlighter, okay? And this color is Flaunt from Rare Beauty. It just looks so gorgeous. Not too bright, not too dull, but you definitely want to blend it well with the sponge. Now I'm using the cleanest part of the sponge to apply this. And then to clean up the highlight, I'm taking a brush without extra product. It just has leftover product from my nose contour and I'm going on the side of my nose to clean that up and to further pronounce the contour. And for blush, I always grab this because it's easy, it looks really good and this is always spicy from e.l.f. Cosmetics. It looks like it could be a bronzer, honestly and truly. It's another warm brown. So although it does show, it looks like a bronzer. You can use your bronzer as a blush, really. You can just do your bronzer and nothing else and it'll still look great. I've been loving this lip color from the lip bar in the color Savage. I just love how it's a warm brown. See how I'm sticking with the warm browns? It just looks so good on brown skin. It's an easy color to go with when you want an everyday look. And the color In Vogue from Juvia's Place, I love so much. It is a beautiful peachy nude, and I like to really apply a lot of layers. I love an ombre look for my lips, so I'm ombreing it there, taking It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara under my lashes because it works so well. And now it's time for the hair, honey taken off these wraps but I realized that my hair was still wet so I ended up taking another wrap and just tying it back on the white stuff will subside and if you've seen my hair videos on IG or even here on YouTube you see how I get that white to go away you just want to apply a little bit of water on your finger and go over it and the white cast will go away now this two-piece wig situation from Amazon is fantastic. It is synthetic, okay? It's not something that you wanna wear in hot weather. You don't wear her to bed. She's really just a get up and go type situation. I love this so much that I have it in different styles and I actually got this particular style in, uh, what was it, FF30, where the base of it is dark brown or black, and then it fades into a highlighted color at the bottom. Absolutely gorgeous for the summertime. But here you see how easy it is. It's basically a half wig that goes in the back of my head. I twisted the hair that was in the back of my head 
and I just pinned it down and then clipped the half wig on top. And then here you see me attaching the top. It's really straightforward. So I want you to give this video a thumbs up, comment below, share the video. Let me know if you liked this hair and makeup video together. Let me know if you like this hairstyle. Do you plan on getting this hairstyle? Do you plan on trying this look out? I want you to comment and let me know. And as always, I'm always grateful when you watch my videos and support my channel. Make sure you follow me on Instagram as well. Thanks so much, girl.